All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Truth Be Told and Stand Tall Academies Incorporated. We are live on the banks of the Cuyahoga River. This is my childhood friend. His name is Roscoe Morgan. He is the CEO of Stand Tall Academies Incorporated. Truth Be Told and Stand Tall are going to partner to bring to you African-American history in Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. You are going to be amazed at the things that you didn't know. So we thought we would just do a live shot here. We've got a nice backdrop of downtown Cleveland and tell you a little bit about the partnership. Uh, Roscoe will tell you about Stand Tall and we'll just have a short conversation. What's good, Cleveland? Good to see you. How you doing, Roscoe? I'm doing great today. How are you doing, Nate? I'm doing good. It's good to be together. We've been uh, Zooming like for the last few months and bringing uh, videos to uh, your viewers and my viewers. Yes. So it's good to actually be able to enter into a partnership now. Um, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about staying tall so that people will know about it, can be engaged in it. Um, so I just first off and ask, um, what should people know about Stand Tall Academies? Well, Stand Tall Academies is a family and youth oriented program. Um, we have a, a platform where we like to engage virtually, but now that the pandemic is clearing up, we're going to get back into some of our live programming. We like to uh, first and foremost provide learning opportunities. We like to have a lot of fun through that learning. Um, we started off with a uh, youth basketball team and engaged around or involved the parents and then we uh launched a archery program i think a lot of people don't know that uh stand tall has a minority based archery program That's and awesome. starting this summer we already have our first dates but there'll be some public dates for the archery program that'll be announced through the platform too awesome so what would someone benefit how would they benefit from being a member of Stand Tall? Well our mission is to push integrity, um, provide or promote character and provide fun engaging family you know events. So you're going to benefit just by being able to bring your family to a Stand Tall event. It's mm -hmm. not one of those uh, programs where the kids get to come and mom and dad can't or mom and dad can come but the kids get left behind. We like to offer our um, families the opportunity to come out and learn, grow, and have fun all together. And first, what's even bigger than that is to date, um, we haven't had to really charge our families anything. That's awesome. So I think that's pretty big. <laughs> that's awesome. So, so it's a holistic organization. Everybody can be involved, mom, dad, yes. kids, and all that. Everybody. And we base most of our activities on social and emotional learning. So. We want you to grow not just uh, in enjoyment, but to grow emotionally and spiritually also. Okay. So what is your overall vision for Stand Tall? Um, well, now that we have our platform, it's allowed us to not just have a local audience, but we pretty much have grown through membership coast to coast. So the vision has changed through the pandemic in a positive way. We have members in Miami, we have members in Los Angeles, Denver. So we want to be able to provide those audiences the opportunity to host Stand Tall programming and to also provide um, live virtual programming. So we want to be able to offer Stand Tall type programming 24-7 at one day. I would like folks who work third shift to be able to log on through the platform and see a, you know, a virtual program 24 seven, and then to be able to uh, maybe bring something that's unique in Denver to Cleveland, mm -hmm. or take Cleveland programming to DC, like our relationship, right. you know. Um, Truth Be Told has been such a benefit to our platform, but here we are live today. Right. So to be able to uh, know that one day in the near future, We'll have a walking tour mm -hmm. of Black history in Cleveland, yeah. led by, you know, truth be told. All right, I like man, that. Man, <laughs> and bring our stand tall audience out right. to learn from you. I like I can that. I'll tell you right now, Nate, we got people in, in, and we have a diverse audience of people waiting to learn from you live mm -hmm. what they have learned from you, you know, over mm -hmm. the winter through your virtual 
presentations on our platform, that's going to be exciting. That's awesome. Yep. So you got a franchise concept in mind, it sounds like, where it could spread across the country. Definitely. In different communities Definitely. and whatnot. Definitely, because people, people outside of Cleveland need to know what you're doing. They need to know what Stan Tall is trying to do, you know. This is an opportunity for us to grow a whole new network of learning and right. sharing. So I'm looking forward to this. Okay. So we're coming out of the pandemic, and in the pandemic, we're doing everything remotely, and um, that's kind of where we hooked up at one point. So now that people are able to get out and engage uh, person to person, do you see uh, staying tall, morphing, or evolving into something in a different way? I think Stand Tall Academy's morphed we have already morphed mm -hmm. because we were a uh, person to person or in person program before mm -hmm. the pandemic. Um, so a real fast short story on August the 19th of 2020, I had an idea when all of the parents in the community were struggling, you know, the school district, everybody was throwing these computers at our households, but no one was thinking about what it was doing to the parents. So on that day, I had an idea to start a, a uh, platform for parents, mm -hmm. somewhere they could log on and get support. Mm -hmm. um, they could get classroom instruction or just go do something, um, take a break or, you know, an online space for them. Mm -hmm. And then on August the 20th, I took the initiative to launch the uh, Stand Tall platform. Mm -hmm. um, from August the 20th to November the 14th, I worked on this concept. I looked for the right IT organization. And then in November of 2020, I launched the sta.tradewing.com platform. And since then, we've had the opportunity to build that site. And it's, in a, and it's a family oriented platform where we do the live groups, live classrooms, uh, we have a space for live audio um, performances, live video performances, live conferences, and it's all aimed towards adults and family engagement. And so we morphed into that virtual space, but not a, but a live virtual space, a recorded virtual space, you know, somewhere we can do stuff 24-7 and now that the pandemic is over, we can reintroduce our person to person. Okay. Um, so I think that was our morphing time. Um, okay. And now that it's clearing up, we can come back to our original type of programming and engage again, you know, with organizations that are top notch, like Truth Be Told. Awesome. So how can someone become a member of Stand Tall? It's a public, um, it's free, it's public programming. Um, all you have to do is get on, type in sta.tradewing, T-R-A-D-E-W-I-N-G dot com, and then you, uh, you'll you get the page, the home page. You have to put in your email and create your own private password. After that, um, because the site is safe and policed, you will have to read and click on the uh, code of conduct because it's a mature site. Right. If you agree to follow the rules and respect everybody's um, space on, the, on our page, once you click that, you get access. Then, you, then we have members on there. We have groups that are constantly growing. And you can join the group that you want to participate in. Um, some of our groups are the Teacher's Lounge, where you can pick up tips right. to a uh, home teach. If you're a teacher, we have teachers sharing different tips for trade, for classroom management for summer camps. Um, we have one that uh, a group called the Urban Learning Pods, which is a uh, program for adults where we do different things. That's where we show the Truth Be Told classes right. where you host mm -hmm. um, Truth Be Told videos. We also have live yoga in there. We have mindfulness activities in there. We've had live chefs come on and teach um, healthy recipes in there. Um, and we have several more groups and if you have, uh, let's say that you're a teacher or you have a gift or a hobby that you would like to have a, a virtual space for, okay. then you can connect with me and, and we can see if, if it's a match for you and we can put your group, give you some space on there and you can grow a virtual uh, audience through the platform right. there yourself. 
Uh, right. So I noticed you have uh, some sponsors also part of Stand Tall. Yeah, that's what keeps us going, and we're constantly looking for more sponsors. Right, so there you, go. you can also find us that same way, too, if you're interested in helping to keep the community going, or if, or if you have a heart to give and you like our mission, um, or you want to help families to uh, help their, their kids or help the community. Um, there's no limit in how you can sponsor, but you can also you can reach out to us there. You can reach out to me directly. The phone number is 216-276-4806. Uh, we have a uh, we have a Urban Learning Pods um, email, Urban Learning Pods at gmail.com, and then you can always find me directly through the platform, which once again is sta.tradewing.com. Just uh, get through there you can find me right on that page just click the little bubble through next to my name or my lovely picture on the yeah. platform and email me directly um, but we look for sponsorships whether that's a uh, financial sponsorship um, the size of your choice or if you just want to sponsor a specific group um, to help their uh, group or activity go you know we don't put any limits on how we help our community go and grow so uh, I just was thinking, and um, you know, I don't live in Cleveland anymore, um, but I get back here as, as much as I can. And I'm always amazed at um, the di things that are different and whatnot. But I could not imagine, so we both, we grew up on 144th Street, okay? <laughs> yes. Right off Harvard, between Harvard and Miles. And um, I never thought in my wildest dreams I would be back in Cleveland doing this. Um, I just wanted to get your take on that, you know, in your expectation. I mean, I don't know what I thought I would be doing, but I never thought I would be doing this. You know, it's funny you say that. Um, I don't know either, but let me, can, do you remember when I, uh, when I put together those, that Olympics at Moses Cleveland School? I think I kind of remember and, that. And uh, we were all day, and I was hosting the Olympics, and I gave a nickel for third place, a dime for second <laughs> place, and a quarter for first place. I kind of remember an Olympics. Huh? I remember yeah. that, yeah. That was one of my first events. Okay. And, and I tell you, Nate, if you had told me then that that event would lead me to doing what I would wind up doing as a school teacher and then working with youth, um, opening up youth clubs and stuff, but it's crazy because off of our street on 144th um, in Harvard. Mm -hmm. And here you and I sit today. And there are other people off of our street who right. went on to do mm -hmm. some really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. But man, we used to wake up and just run and play and do kids stuff. All you day, know? all day. Um, one, of the other, one of the other things, programs that I've launched is uh, a Stand Tall Academy Community um, Champions okay. Network, right? And I, I want to uh, take a second real quick and tell you about it. It's, I've been able to highlight seven individuals in the community mm -hmm. with these community champion t-shirts. Right, I saw it's that. It's one of a that. kind. Mm -hmm. And um, four of them are from Cleveland. Three are from that, all over. One is a uh, former Olympian, and he's uh, getting ready to box for a world championship, okay. Charles Conwell. Okay. But these are people who came from out of the you know, who you wouldn't expect, right. but who did things in their lives, stuck to their goals, and give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like my own Nobel Peace Prize kind of <laughs> Got award, it, okay, you know? okay, it's your thing, and, right? Uh, yeah. And so That's I recognize nice. these people, and I'm trying to grow this, and this is something I'm looking for sponsors for, too, mm -hmm. um, until I can get the medal um, uh, made to right. give, so I give these one of a kind T-shirts, right. and I'm going to give you one because you, my guy, well, awesome. and the stuff you do. <laughs> you are a Stand Tall Academy Community Champion. That is so awesome. You are our eighth, <laughs> our eighth award winner. I'm number eight. You number eight on the list. <laughs> this and is awesome. Thank <laughs> you, sir. It's going to be up, and that list will be its own private group on the platform within uh -huh. the next two or three months. But it's got to be highlighted. Right. Special with biographies of those eight people. Right, um, right. You know, That's awesome. you and Douglas from the Douglas Foundation, Charles Conwell, because you guys, but to know that you and I off of 144th Street would grow and, and mature right. and work to do positive things, it makes me wonder what was in the water we drank. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but it yeah. makes me feel good too. Yeah. Um, 
That's awesome. And it is, it is surprising, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah. Yeah, I just kind of <laughs> wondered because I was thinking, and, you know, Cleveland, like a lot of cities, y'all, is undergoing a transformation. <laughs> a lot of spaces that were not used at all or were maybe derelict are now being revived and refurbished, and that's a great thing. We're right now here at a place called The Foundry. I don't ever remember hearing about it growing up, but we were kind of down in the flats. And the flats weren't really the place to be when no. we were growing up. So um, what I am sensitive to is, is while we're respading, turning over for new projects and new places, that we don't turn over what was already there and lose that history, you know? Yeah. So, um, so I just was interested in your perspective on Cleveland because it's, it's probably the same across the country with other people. And, um, but I just, again, never thought that yeah. we would be here doing this now. It and is. And I'm glad that we are. It is. And uh, the flats turned, like you said, when we were growing up, the flats is not someplace you wanted to come to. Right. And I think actually the flats probably was the biggest polluter mm -hmm. in our community. Yes, it was. Know? I tell people that a lot of my childhood memories seem like they were in black and white. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the amount of pollution that was coming out of the flats, mm -hmm. the steel mill. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. the city was gray, man, right. <laughs> from the smoke. Right. Um, but now as you can see, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, so I sit on the board of a uh, community development organization, okay. but the one for St. Clair Superior. Okay. So I know that. Um, and there's one called Tremont mm -hmm. CDC that actually represents this community. And I know some of the folks that work to uh, take buildings like this building, which was, I believe, an old firehouse. Okay. And they turned it through private reinvestment into this athletic club here. Right. And if you look around, there are old biz businesses and things that they've repurposed and turned into houses mm -hmm. um, through government funds and private funds and some working independently and some collaboratively. Um, they've built houses, um, transformed old silos into businesses. Right. And uh, there's been a large, a lot of comeback. Yeah. So Cleveland's looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, the Cuyahoga River is looking a lot better. Mm -hmm. And uh, the city's doing well yeah. compared to what it was doing. Yeah, I, I would agree. So if you are interested at all in getting involved or getting more information about Staying Tall or about Truth Be Told, again, all of our contact information will be available in the links of this video. Uh, I do want to talk just a little bit about what Truth Be Told is trying to do. So if you look at our mission statement, it is simply to make sure that our history, African American history, is not forgotten and not forgotten, thus not lost. Now, anywhere you look, you can find black history. You can find black history anywhere because our history is everywhere. So I'm from Cleveland. So these are our stories that now we're getting ready to tell. We're going to start with a man named George Peake, who is the first African-American settler in Cleveland. Now, I don't know how I grew up in Cleveland. I went to Cleveland Public Schools and never heard that name. Yeah. Heard about Moses Cleveland. Heard yeah. about General Moses Cleveland, right, who surveyed this area and who, you know, founded the town or he, 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 he started a community here. And in his honor, they named it Cleveland. But I never heard about George Peake and his family. So we're going to start there. And then there's so many other wonderful stories that we want to tell you about related to African-American history in Cleveland. So we hope to do that over the period of the next few months. Hello. <laughs> there are people on the river rowing there waving yes. at us. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, Roscoe, let me ask you this. What makes you, at the end of the day, most proud about staying tall? Um that I know we're working for positive things to come back into the community that uh, Stand Tall stands for good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that I get to work with people like you uh -huh. and, you're, and the mission of Truth Be Told. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> awesome. We can't foot stump that enough. You, you, you couldn't write a movie script to kind of capture it, right? Who, right. I mean, we, we hadn't seen each other in... A lot of years. A lot of years. <laughs> and then 
as Providence would have it, uh, we reconnect and find out, you know, although we're not doing the same mission, our missions are parallel, right? And they, and they complement each other. So um, it's just a blessing in disguise, I think. There's no, you know, the Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. There's no telling where this will go right. and how big this can become. So we hope that you see value in it. Um, we hope that you can be looking for the video series that is to come. Going to make it engaging, going to make it informing. Again, I'm going to be in Cleveland uh, in the next few months. I'm going to be in Cleveland a lot because I have a lot of filming to do, a lot of research to do, and really some of it you can only do on the ground. Right. So we're glad to be here. Uh, thanks for tuning in and kind of listen to us, kind of talk back and forth and, and kind of give you a preview of what's coming up with the partnership between Stand Tall Academies and Truth Be Told. Um, any, before we wrap, anything in particular you want to say or mention or? I just appreciate being back in touch with you and look forward to uh, all that I know we're going to learn by having Truth Be Told on the ground back in your hometown. Awesome. Well, I feel the same way and I will say yes, absolutely. We are going to have some kind of a tour in Cleveland before it's all over with. So we got a lot of work to do. Um, and if you have some stories about Cleveland that you'd like to share again, contact information will be in the, in, the, in the comments of this video. None of us are as smart as all of us. You probably got a story that no one else knows about. These are the kind of stories that we want to bring to light. We want to make sure that everyone knows that African American history is American history. We are part and parcel of this country. You don't have America without us. And so we want to make sure that our stories are told, that our stories are preserved, and that um, more than anything, the generations that are coming up behind us know our stories and can be proud of the accomplishments that we have had that we never knew of, right? There you go. All right. So, all right, we'll see you again real soon. Good to see you, Cleveland, and um, we'll be talking again. Truth be told. Stand Tall Academies. Let's, Let's get, get to, to it. it. If you would like to see more videos like this, Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon to receive our new releases. If you would like to assist Truth Be Told in our mission to preserve African American history, which is American history, please share this video with your children, family, and friends. Truth Be Told, you can find Black history anywhere because our history is everywhere.